Okay guys, the Cooler Master Silent Pro Gold 1000 watt. So this is a um, gold rated power supply which means it gets over 90% power efficiency. Um, it's got 112 volt rail at an incredible 98 amps. Um, 135 mil fan, silent fan. Let's give you a look at the box. Um, it's rated for 100,000 hours um, before failure. It's got a five year warranty, which is pretty exceptional. Um, you can just pause it on those specifications there. Um, I'll show you the cables individually. Some more specs there. Um, it just talks about some of the technologies that are used there. Um, these graphs, you can pause those. Just a um, fan speed, fan noise graph there. So it's a it's a pretty cool box. Black and gold packaging. Very enticing. Silence is golden. Well packaged too on the inside. Let's quickly show you. Um, came all wrapped up and waterproofed and it's got this foam and then the cables were in here. It just lifts out. Anyway, enough on the box. Let's have a look at the power supply. So it's black, gold and white. Mostly black. And that's that side. The top has a specification sticker. Um, I'll give you a look at the back. On off switch. I like having one of those. The Silverstone 1500 watt Strider doesn't actually have one. So it's got a nice gold um, fan grill. Uh, I'll just put it back up on its end so we can have a look at these modular plugs. Just a map there. So there's, sorry about the bad light, um, five SATA and peripheral plugs and two PCI Express plugs, modular plugs. Um, the cables that are not modular are two times um, four plus four pin CPU connectors. There's another one hidden away down there. Um, two times PCI Express six plus two pin connectors and also two eight pin PCI Express connectors and also the motherboard 20 pin plus 4 pin connector. So that's the power supply itself. Now you get this lovely cable bag as well. Nice logo down there. All black. Let's have a look at here. Um, so I just want to give you a look at the cables because they're actually not sleeved. Um, which is very cool because it allows for your own sleeving without too much mucking around. All you'd have to do is, you know, um, pull the wires apart and then you can sleeve them yourself. Or you can just go with them like that as well, which um, looks pretty decent too. Um, I'd say that would look, you know, pretty neat in a build. No worries. Um, so I won't pull them all apart and show you them individually. I'll just tell you what, what we've got here. There's three um, SATA cables, each with three SATA plugs on them. Power, that is. There is two Molex, each with two Molex plugs on them, and one with also a floppy. Um, 
there's also two PCI Express um, 6 plus 2 pin and two PCI Express 6 pin um, all of those are within two cables so on each cable there's a 6 plus 2 pin and a 6 pin um, yeah and that's about it um, I haven't actually tested this power supply yet but the specifications look very nice um, you know five year warranty you can't go past that uh, I'll probably be using it as a secondary power supply alongside my Silverstone Strata 1500 watt in a Mountain Mods build the Strata can do the graphics and a few other bits and pieces and the um, this can do the motherboard and CPU it's um, a bit smaller than the Strider actually anyway I better stop there thanks for watching guys